Hello, you beautiful people of YouTube. You know what you haven't seen for a little bit? That's right. It's time for more Meteor Fall. Krumit's Tale. So, who are we doing today? Well, you've seen Bruno, you've seen Greybeard, you've seen Mischief, you've seen Moldorf, you've seen Varfa, which means we've only got one character left to show off. Rose. Rose, the mostly holy. <laughs> well put, Krumit, well put, yes. Rose, the mostly holy. So Rose is, a, as you can see, a kind of angry cleric there. Uh... She uses her holy powers to go and fight the monsters and save the day. Except for the part where she also uses her demonic powers to fight the monsters and save the day. Now, Rose is an interesting case because she is by far the most complicated of all the characters. Like, yeah, Bruno, it's like, put on armor, hit enemy, block with armor, repeat. Rose, there's a lot to talk about, so I'm not sure how this recording, how well it's going to go, but I'll, I'll do my best. And I think rather than try and, like explain stuff beforehand. I'm gonna just have to play it and be like, oh, here's a thing to talk about. Oh, here's a thing. Oh, I forgot this. Here's a thing. Because she's got a lot going on for her. Let the telling commence. Okay, where are we headed first? To the nondescript farmstead. All right. Let's begin. So, all right. She looks normal at first. Two damage, 10 health. And what's her ability? Chosen. When you... There you go. Keep it on the screen, please. When you remove or transform a visible curse, deal two piercing damage to enemies in the same row. And you're like, okay, that's great. What's a curse? We'll get to it. Oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to a lot of things. So, okay, that, that seems fine. Let's do a fight. Oh, it's being like every other regular... Like, it's like every other person. Well, except mischief with the one because they... Eh. All right. We beat someone. Hooray for us. What did I get two health from? Oh, from Flash Heal. I was like, wait, she just regenerated? What? Uh, that's just one of her abilities. Restore four health if you pick this. Also, restore two when it's added to the board. So that's nice. I, I thought I was going crazy for a second. Like, I don't remember her having innate regeneration. She doesn't. That's just her magic. Her holy magic. But... We're still injured. We have nine health instead of 10. What are we gonna do? Well, you know, I was talking about like, here's the thing, you know, transform curses to deal two piercing damage. That's her shtick? No. That's Rose's shtick. The character's shtick is that Rose is not just Rose. Yes, up there you can see Rose, the, the holy cleric, but take your faith and renounce it and you become queen who is the demonic biker chic uh, character who taps into her demon energy to, to fight off monsters. So what does Queen do? Well, Queen, your first attack each battle applies three corruption. Now, it's not the only way, like, for instance, you've seen this, this fetching gold poop down here, the unsavory relic. It also corrupts an enemy for three. Just, it's an item you use. Okay, what's corruption? That's kind of getting into more of what Rose is all about. To the balance between good and evil. So, as queen, when you hit someone the first time in battle, it applies three corruption. So, okay, they've got this fancy three and this, this fetching purple mist behind them, but what does that mean? Well, two things. The plus side is, oh no, we're at seven health? Well, they have three corruption. We killed someone with three corruption. We get three health. Now we're at full. Hooray! We, like, drain their life essence from them. Now, the problem, of course, is when you're using demonic powers, there is always a price to pay. In this case, it's anyone who is corrupted when you kill them leaves behind a curse. You've seen blessings before. Well, these are, like, the opposite. Just, like, blessings are sometimes, like, you know, fight someone next to you and, you know, you do an extra attack damage or... You know, things will give you an extra gold if you kill a monster touching this blessing. Things, you know, useful stuff. These are the opposite. You know, curse, curse of radiation. When tiles spawn, apply two or a one poison to yourself. Um, you know, and you can pay two health to get rid of it. You don't have to. You can, you know, say whatever. We can deal with poison. All right, womp. 
You know, if we get three health, now they left it different. This one, the Curse of Silence. I cannot use abilities when this is on the board. So yeah, curses, they don't just go away. You have to get rid of them. So it's like, oh, like, I really don't want this being poisoned when someone comes in. Two health, get rid of it. That's all well and good. We still have the Curse of Silence, though. Decisive. I'm going to do this Holy Hammer. Lifesteal, one, great. I want my other thing. That will be me. Now let's say, oh, no, you know, we have eight health. We're going to take more damage than that. See, so, you now you can apply three Curse from the item, three Curse from the hit. Now we're going to heal by six. And it doesn't change the, the curse you get afterwards. If they have any amount of corruption, they leave a curse. That's all there is to it. Now, say you're like, okay, I've, I'm, I'm pretty full health. I don't want to, these enemies to keep spawning curses every time because I'm applying corruption. Well, sure, we were Rose and we renounced the faith and took on the demon mantle. Well, what if we renounce the demon mantle and take back her faith? So it's it's just the same. You restore three health, and now you mutate back into Chosen. And so now you're back into Holy Rose. And then the things uh, cycle, so they go back up. You know, so long as you have a deck here, any version of Renounce will go back in. So you can keep switching between the two. And that is Rose's, like, deal. Is It's all about this balance between when do you want to corrupt, when do you want to, you know, heal. And, you know, it gets into a lot of, as you'll see, as we play this items, it's like when your queen do this, when your, you know, rose do this, or like this item when you like use all its charges, it will, you know, transform into, you know, use all your charges and then it will transform you into queen or into rose, that type of stuff. So let's see if we can do a little bit more interesting stuff. Uh, as a note, as I said with Moldor, Moldor's, you know, um, what, 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 what like the the gravestones like when he kills people like don't give you uh gems i'm like that's the only thing in the game that does that that's true for curses curses do give you gems so like you might not want to clear them if you're at the end like that like yeah we couldn't use abilities but we didn't need them let's get an extra gem out of it rewards yeah rewards sure money what i want is Choose wisely all right so uh here is one of yeah, we have some very good options. Like, yeah, Vampire, you know, I love Vampire. And Judicator, you know, I like Judicator. Especially because she heals a lot, which means she's good at taking damage and then fixing it. But her, she has a unique ability. Rose has one for just her pure. When you mutate into Chosen, convert all curses into blessings. I'm going to take that just because it's fun to play with. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yes. These are the things I wanted to talk about, and then I didn't have them. So besides balancing, like, when are you Rose, when are you Queen, etc., etc., balancing your curses is kind of the other, like, main thing about playing Rose is because, like, obviously, yeah, if you're Queen, you hit people, you corrupt them, you get healed every time. So, like, it's good to be Queen, but then it's like, now these curses are stacking up, what do I do with them? Well, there's some items that can help. For instance, Kiki's Bow. Little Kiki, Kiki's Delivery Service reference there. Convert target curse into a blessing. And when you buy it, you turn into chosen. So like if you're already her good side, nothing happens. If you're queen, it turns you back. So we're going to buy that. Purchase. Demonic chest. Destroy a curse to draft a tile that costs two gold or less. So it's kind of like a pirate lockbox. A prudent purchase. But instead of like you buy it and then it just gives you a random item, it's you buy this, it has three charges. You destroy curses to make yourself items. Uh, and then we want... Well, I want both of these. I can't get them. We'll buy Ill Omens. Uh, Ill Omens just corrupt five. One enemy and everyone else in the same row. So it's really good. It's like a better unsavory relic. So let's get rid of one of those. And let's get rid of a Holy Hammer. Yay. Your journey continues. Maybe I'm interested in the, the anti-curse stuff to show how it goes. <laughs> All right, uh, right, let's get some money. Sure, you. Get him. Rawr. Fight, fight, fight. I need money. Fight, fight, fight. All right. Demonic chest. We want that. 
Uh, I want to turn into queen, but oh well. This is fine. I'll use the other item instead. It will show what I want to. All right. So here, ill omens. This is why I want this more than say the unsavory relic. Be like, uh, you, bam. Five corruption, five corruption, five corruption. So they're gonna heal us a lot. On the other hand, it's like three curses. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Well, what we're gonna do is be like, hey, free items instead. Yeah, yeah, hit me some more. It's fine. Heal for five. Oh no, the curse of greed. All tiles cost one more to acquire. How about instead of that, we get a thing for us. Here, shovel three copies of Renounce in the deck. That'll help get us more gems. Uh, you. You look like a jerk. Let's kill you too. Oh no, Curse of Greed again. You know, how about no? Uh, let's see. Holy Strike. Deal four damage with Life Steal. Very good. Block, Regeneration. Humility, instant restore eight health and repent. Can only be acquired if you have zero money. Except that we can get it for free right now. Whoop. Oh, it's not a, it's an instant, not a, oh well, whatever. All right, so like here's Kiki's bow. The other one I got. Yeah, whatever, armor. Oh, he's hitting for five. Oh no, if only I wasn't healing for five already. Bop. So yeah, demonic chest, that's one way of dealing with it. Turn it into items. Kiki's bow, whoop. You know, now instead of a curse, we've got the blessing of plenty. Defeat an enemy nearby and it will give us an extra gold. So that, you've now seen the basics of Rose. You can now, and I'll, I'll keep playing this, obviously I'm like, eh, video's over the end. To show off, you know, more intricate stuff. But now you've sort of seen it. It's when are you Rose? When are you Queen? When do you corrupt stuff and put curses on how do you want to go about fixing it do you want to just power through them get gems for them at the end do you want to turn them into blessings do you want to turn them into items obviously you know since who knows if i'll get it or not i'll just mention now uh, magic lamps are very good for rose because they fuel both kiki's bow and demonic chest there's other things too like there's a thing that's uh then there's stuff like there's a demonic cell phone that essentially you uh you use it to summon a demon that becomes a, a ally for you and it gets stronger the more there's like it will eat curses on the board to power up so you know hooray for that so there's the basics of rose so i'll keep playing so we can see some more you know back and forth and how it all actually plays out but now you've got the basics now actually here's the thing um uh, i was fighting this guy and i was about to beat him and i'm like wait actually I can, uh, I think do a little better. I forget if Curse will do it on the last one or not, but... Right. Renounce. All right, so let's send it back in. That's fine. We have a little bit more health. So we're going to curse him because he's going to be corrupted. Now, I forget if the last tile will drop a curse. No, all right. If I'd thought about it the second to last guy, I should have turned into queen, corrupted him, gotten a curse, then killed the last guy, and we get an extra tile of it. Oh well. We'll take Holy Strike because plus four damage with four life steal. Like heal for four. Damage for four. You know, it's great. Uh, start with money. That's great because then we can buy our anti curse items. Oh, here's some other things. Besides the fact that she's already got this very interesting back and forth mechanic, she also has some very interesting items. Uh, specifically when I'm seeing it, this one is what I'm thinking of, Spirit Stone. It is a great healing item. Uh, you know, when you acquire this, if it stores your current health value, use it to set your health to the value. It does not count as heal. Like, what? It, it, you, you store a health and then get it and it's not healing, but it's a fancy way of saying when you buy it, it becomes a healing item, so to speak that it doesn't heal. You know what? I'll just show you here. Spirit Stone. We're going to buy it now. We bought it at, you know, we have 10 health right now. So when we buy it, this stone has 10 health. In the future, if we use this item, it will put us at 10 health. 
Now, it doesn't count as healing, I guess, for purposes of, like, other abilities. It's like, oh, you, you know, if you, like, there's things like, you know, there's a curse where it's like, if you heal, you heal one less than normal. You know, like, so instead of two healing, you only get one, stuff like that. This ignores that. It's just, it, it's not giving, you, it's just like, you put your health at 10 because we bought it at 10. If we had more health, it would lower it. If we use it, if we had less health, it would go up, you know? Um, we need to heal. We're taking some damage. Let's get that. Bam, lots of that. Now we need three gold. Kind of badly. Ugh. Stop it. Bad demons. On the other hand, now, you know, eight. Um... Eight, eight corruption because we gave him five and we're doing three so it's like oh no we were down to one health we have to use our healing item no we don't we're fine we just will steal their life force Let's, don't worry about it um and yes curses can stack so like curse of radiation when tile spawns apply a poison all right well we got another one so now the tile spawns we get two poison not great but um, I want to turn it into stuff, but I don't have the monies. Let's just sell this. Invigorating, no? Sell that. Oh, no, we got poisoned. Oh, we got poisoned. Who cares? Uh, so here we go. Let's take exorcism. Remove the target blessing to destroy all non-boss enemies in the same row and column. Oh, lucky day. Cool. Restore six health when you acquire this spawn a random blessing in a spot. Well, because we're using it via the, you know, the box, just like a pirate box, it's not going to spawn anything in the spot. And we don't really need six health, so we'll take smite instead, which is deal three piercing damage or five if you have full health, which we do. So let's smite them. Eh. Yeah. You done been smoted, sir. Oh, no. We're gonna die because we're so poisoned. Well, whoop, 10 health. Oh, that's the other thing. The, the, you know, the good side is like a curse won't lower the healing of this. You know, if you have the lose, like heal is less effective, it still is full power. On the other hand, it doesn't count as healing, which means it doesn't get rid of our poison. <laughs> but that's all right because the corruption does. Uh, curse of weakness. Base damage is decreased by one against adjacent enemies. Now, this is one that you can't, it's like a blessing where like, you know, the blessings are often like, do something to the person next to you and then remove the blessing. You, like, Curse of Radiation, it just stays there until you get rid of it, either by paying the toll, the health toll, or converting it or whatever. Curse of Weakness acts like a blessing, which is, it only affects the monsters around it, and if you kill someone next to it, it will get rid of it. So, you know, some, not all curses are made equal. I also don't care, though, because... Finders, keepers. Um, I guess healing. Will be needed. Sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't want to go about this. Splat it. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Splat it. Oh no, we're gonna die. No, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're gonna die. Don't worry about it. Uh, get rid of that, right? Now, just kind of to, to show this off, I don't actually want to use it, but like, you know, exorcism. The oh, let's remove a blessing, not a... Mm. Well, I did this backwards, but... Um, sure, let's just fight this guy a little bit. Sleepy time. Yeah, so the, the nice thing about Rose slash Queen is there's so much healing. So it's like, yeah, she doesn't do a lot of damage. But she's, she's kind of like in a way, almost, like, as good as, like, Bruno in that, like, his whole thing is, like, just take the damage and you ignore it with your armor and you just keep on fighting. And her thing is, like, well, yeah. you, 
like, yeah, you take a lot of damage, but you're, you have so much healing. You're just like, okay, you hit me in the face. Heal. Hit me in the face. Heal. Hit me in the face. Now you're dead. Oh, and you're corrupted, so heal. Buy this. All right. So, we got Kiki's bow. It transformed the curses into blessings. That's already pretty good. Exorcism. Womp. So, everything in the cross pattern got destroyed. Now we could, like, pay to get rid of stupid whatever. There's only one guy left. What luck. So why don't we just keep it and use it to get a gem? Uh, you know what? Sure, hit me. Hit me for four. Do it. Because now you go to sleep. I hit you. You don't put up your shield and you die. The end. Woo. And then instead of, you know, using that blessing, like, oh, we got a gold coin, you know. We get a gem instead. Time. Oh, yeah, this thing. The Queen's Grail. You pay 25 health, reduced by 3 for every enemy you've corrupted, to destroy all tiles in the entire deck. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so, like, here's another thing when I was talking about, like, the switching and, like, so far it's just all about corruption and that stuff. But, like, Celestial Maul. When you have full health, increase the damage of this weapon by 4. So instead of 4, it does 8. That's pretty good. You can only use it if you are chosen. Like, Demonic Queen cannot hold the Celestial Maul. Only Rose can wield it. So there's another thing of, like, you know, the back and forth of when are you holy, when are you evil. I'm going to go with the Holy Hand Grenade. It does four piercing damage to everyone in adjacent tiles. Restore two health for every enemy you hit. More healing. More healing is great. I, I, here's another thing I'm talking about, like, the switch. So I was talking about, like, some items do stuff, so, like, Hannah's Death Mask, which is a passive. If you take fatal damage, you... Like, it's an item you don't, like, equip it or anything. You just have it in your inventory. It has one charge. You don't use it. It doesn't... You know, it's a passive item. It might actually be the only one of its type. Come to think of it. Uh, but either way, you just keep it with you. If you take fi fatal damage, uh, you get rid of the item... Mutate yourself into Chosen and restore your health to full. So it's basically like, you know, it's like a fairy from Link, whereas, and it, you know, makes you nice and holy while it's at it. So sure, let, let's let take that just because we can. Um, you know, I haven't found any, uh, what's the magic lamps? I couldn't think of that. So you know what, let's just buy another Kiki's bow. Like, yeah, I want Daja's Moonshine, which is, you know, restore four health, shuffle a curse on the deck, and you're like, but putting more curses? That's kind of bad. Well, not really. Like, yeah, a regular character putting curses into your deck. Yeah, let's get rid of some... You know, that's basic. We want to do fun things. Uh, yeah, but putting more curses in the deck, like, yeah, if you're playing as Greybeard and all of a sudden you have a bunch of curses in your deck, that wouldn't be good. But we can turn them to blessings. We can turn them into, you know, other, you know, turn them into items. We can, like, just, like, pay the two health and fix it and heal ourselves super easily, so curses are not bad for us. Like, yeah, they're not, like, good, but... But, you know, having a thing that puts a curse in the deck is not necessarily the worst option for Rose slash Queen to do. I mean, I guess it's Rose either way. It's Rose Chosen or Rose Queen. You, you get what I'm trying to say, where I'm coming from here. Crush them. Ow. Okay. Get out of here. Let's get a demonic chest. Because, yeah, that's useful. Ow. Stop hurting me. You made it look easy. I did make it look easy. All right. Well, all these guys are armored, and we're kind of losing some. You know what? It's time, Queen. Let Let's math this out. Okay, so I do two. It does four. I can heal that back up. I do two. Its shield is gone. It does that. I'm down to five. I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't lose here. It's fine. It's gonna hurt, but it's fine. Now 
let's do that so we don't die. That'd be handy. And then we win. Get ourselves a free thingamajig. Okay. Uh, gain rejuvenation. Or re blah, gain regeneration. Turn to queen. Get piercing with six corruption. Pretty good. Kiki's bow, also good. Um... Yeah, let's... I mean, we're already queen, so, like, the mutate into queen isn't gonna do anything, but... Your next attack has piercing and applies six corruption. Mm, fine, I have to flash heal. I don't want to use it now, but I need to... This is actually gonna work. It doesn't show it as piercing, but... Ah, it did. Okay. Oh, and now I died because I didn't think this through. Well... Run away. Oops. Yeah. You know, these things usually go for an hour, and that's only been half an hour, so... Let's try again. Just to see if I can find anything else interesting. I don't need to talk about the basics anymore. We've seen it, so... <laughs> like, uh, yeah, fight, blah, blah, blah. So let's, let's talk about some more advanced tactics then, shall we? Things like... Yeah, renounce. We're gonna turn now and like, well, why are you doing that? A, because I want to do some stuff with curses to show you, but B, you know, using a renounce now when it can cycle back in means it stays as a card that we can get a gem out of in the future. Whereas, you know, if you use it at the end, it might, you know, if there's no things left in the deck, it gets destroyed. So, all right, let's see what we get. Curse of Weakness, we're gonna ignore it. It only affects enemies next to it. We don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Hit you. All right, you're dead. We full heal again. Now what? Curse of Greed. Everything costs one gold more to buy. So far, we're trying not to buy, you know, or use cards at least so that we can get uh, more gems from the end. So we're gonna ignore that. What about here? Curse of Tongues. When you restore health, reduce the amount by one. That's a little more gross. You know what? We're going to ignore it, too. We're going to buy an unsavory relic. Yeah, it costs a little more because of this. We don't care. What we can do... Apply Curse of three. We apply another Curse of three. And so it's like, yeah... It did four damage, but it's like, even with the minus one from healing, because of the curse, instead of six, we're going to get five. We're still going to full heal. It's fine. All right. Now the problem is we do have to get rid of some stuff. Because, you know, we can't just like, you know, we'll buy that. We'll get the money. Nope. Okay. The enemy's still in the deck somewhere. Then sure. All right. Uh, we got rid of a curse, but how do we keep the most curses on the board to get gems out of them? Well, Renounce Shuffles. So let's buy that. It shuffles back in. One short. Yeah. So we still have two curses left. We put our Renounce back in. So we're, we did our best to keep as many tiles active on the board at once as we can. Is it as much as, like, a crazy thing of mischief with, like, 48 copies of Stab. No, but, you know. 11 things. Hey, here's that demonic cell phone I was talking about. The Hell Phone. Summon a Coco Cat. Destroy all visible curses and increase its health by three for each. Granted, Shadow Burn is pretty nice. Six piercing damage to target enemy. Two to yourself. Turn to queen, because we can heal. Uh, but we're going to do the Hell Phone, because that's funnier. All right, I did peer last time. This time I'm going to do Judicator. Per dungeon, once you've taken 15 damage, get plus one for the remainder. Yeah, for stuff like Mischief, that kind of, like, yeah, it's really useful to have more attack on Mischief. But because, you know, her taking a beating is kind of a problem. Rose? Rose does not care. She, she just doesn't. Alright, uh, let's get some money. Uh, let's get a health vial. All right. An enemy. Oh, no. We took four damage. 
that means we're basically a quarter of the way to an extra, you know, an extra damage ourselves. Let's run out. We're going to buy the Hellphone while we have the gold for it, because, you know, if we get a bunch of Curses of Greed, it'll be more expensive. So get it now while we can. You know, we don't, you know, other characters, you kind of like, well, let's wait and see. With her, you do, you know, if you're going to have Curses, have to be aware of the fact that, you know, you might have to end up paying more money, so maybe get your stuff now while you can. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. Well, I can't really heal anymore because we're down by two each thing. That's fine. We'll survive this fight, so it doesn't matter. All right, we've taken enough damage. Now we do three damage for this dungeon. Oh, no, so many curses. Yeah, we have a Coco Cat. Three damage. Three health, when it attacks, apply to corruption, except because there were three curses, it has 12 health. Yeah. Hit it. We just called up our ally on the hell phone. By the way, Coco Cats in the, the Meteor Fall Journeys, the original like card game app one, they are pretty damn annoying to fight. Especially as Greybeard, because they like do a bunch of magic stuff. Um, and like eat magic and they're pretty nasty but when one's on your side uh I don't ow uh, I agree uh you know what yeah just take the hit for us Coco Cat you can do it um, And you know what? Let's just brute force our way through that heal up. We're amazing. Wow, wait. And it didn't use it up? Because it was like the... Aw. Oh. I used the ability to do like the... Hit for more damage and do lifesteal. But I guess because it was the final attack on the final guy, it didn't get rid of it and it gave me a gem for it. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, yeah, Temptation. This is a fun one to get. Get plus one damage for the rest of the dungeon. Shuffle, excuse me, three curses into the deck. Quite but we've already mentioned that we don't care about curses. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty. Hey, <laughs> he's got gizmos and gadgets are plenty. He's got curses, corruption galore. You want skeletons? I've got 20! That, that's only four. Yeah, but that's so, the original song. Uh, I was just riffing off of his joke and reference. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Rose, go beat up some dudes. Ah, uh, Cleric versus Skeleton. Now, here is a classic fight. Eh. And an eh. Eh. All right, temptation. Might I tempt you? Why, yes. You might. Uh, we probably want flash heal. Ow. All right. We got a switch because we're taking a beating. Rise again. The bad. Now, yeah, here's the problem. We didn't buy the Hell Phones, which normally are two gold, but Curse of Greed, now they're three gold. So it's like, eh, that's going to take a bit to get to now. Well, them's the breaks. Invigorating. Indubitably. Curse of Silence. Well, I don't have any abilities on me, so that's fine, but... Let's get rid of Curse of Greed. Sell a relic. Yeah, I want some more corruption for healing, but we need the money. Get this. We can beat a skeleton easily. Oh, also, the fact that we've got our Judicator plus our Temptation. Now we're doing four damage per hit. Rose is a beast. 
It's just like, so one of the things is like, I, I think I've said in previous videos, I'm like, oh, like Rose is kind of my least favorite to play. And you're like, why? This seems pretty awesome. It is, don't get me wrong. Like, it is very fun to play as Rose. Like, you get to do a lot. There's a lot of different ways. Like, do you want to get the boxes? Do you want Kiki's bow? Do you want the hell phone? Do you want to do repent items where, you know, it switches and takes the curses away when you use certain things and turns them to blessings? There is a lot you can do with Rose. The problem, the reason I don't play her that often is because she's so complicated. It's not that it's like hard, like in the sense like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like you stop and think about it. It can be pretty, you know, pretty easy to tell what you should do. It's just often when I'm playing this game, like I have all the achievements on this game already. I've unlocked all of the tiles I've done, you know, for the, your encyclopedia of all this stuff. Like, I've done, you know, everything. Like, yeah, I don't have new game plus whatever the max is on each character, but... Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We have a monster of a Coco Cat. Um, But it's just sort of like, nowadays, except for when I'm, like, recording this for you, if I'm playing this is because, like, oh, I'm, like, waiting for, you know, something to download, you know, here's five minutes while I do this. Or like, oh, I'm waiting to go, you know, like I have to wait for, you know, my wife to get ready for something. So yeah, like when I play this is often for short periods at a time, or like maybe I'm like listening to a video or a podcast or music or something, and I'm just kind of in the zone. And so it's less uh, useful, I guess it's like, ah, that's not the word I'm looking for. Like, it's just, uh, no, actually, let's get some healing before we go into the fight. See, this is what I'm playing, like, I'm trying to talk to you, right? And I have to keep stopping what I'm doing because I can't autopilot Rose. Like, the thing with Rose is you have to pay attention. How do we want to do this? Um, we take the four. It can take the five. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm getting distracted because, you know, I have to. Uh, you take the big hit. Now, what I'm getting at is Rose takes thinking, which is good. Like, it's fun to play as. It's nice to play as. But I don't like playing her as much just for the fact that because you have to think, and I'm often doing this when I don't want to be thinking or I don't have a lot of time, she's just, you know, too complicated to play as just a like, eh, do whatever type of thing. All right, let's get rid of that. We can buy this. Will be Let's get another. Oh, that was the end. Whatever. It's fine. So, yeah. It's not that I don't like Rose. I think she's a very fun character. She has very interesting mechanics. It's just oftentimes that's more complicated than I'm looking for. Oftentimes I want to be playing checkers, and she requires playing chess. It's like that. Take that as an analogy and, and well, use it. Uh, all right, Acolyte, blah, blah, blah. Let's take Reaper. Base damage is increased by one against damaged enemies. More to the point, you know, her with a scythe would be awesome, so let's do that. The problem is this is going to be a very long video if I play the whole thing out, if I don't die again. Um, all right, we can buy that. Yeah, I want to use this and show it off, but three gold, and I need lots of gold, so... Yeah, mutate to chosen and restore your health to full when you exhaust it, but... I think we will do better... Turning into queen now, corrupting people, and then summoning a Coco Cat or two. Depending if we get Curses of Greed or not on this. That, that one's fine. Come on, no greed, no greed. Something else, something else. Yeah. I said that before seeing what it was, so. Excellent. All right. We can summon two cats now. No, I mean, you can only summon one at a time because I mean, you can use it both. It's just that the one will eat all the curses, become really strong, and then the other one will have no curses to eat. But that's okay. We have it for the future. Uh-oh. Oh, not uh-oh, because here, you can use it in battle. Hey, 
Coco Cat, I'm kind of in a rough spot. Can you come and help? And it's like, yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We gotta take more damage still so that we can get Judicator going. There we go. Judicator is going. So we, now we have a base of three. If they're injured, we do four. And if we can get Temptation, we'll do five against an injured enemy. That pretty crazy. Right, here's the other thing. Getting this, like, reduce the cost of target ability by one. Find. Use it on Renounce. Renounce will shuffle back into the deck if we use it. And now it's free. We don't have to pay a gold to switch between anymore using that one, but... It's all about thinking ahead. Yeah. Alright, that's that sure is a, a lot of curses, Coco Cat. Hey look, there's another one free. And Yeah, whatever. This fight. I'm trying to think of like how can I like there's a lot of healing and there's a lot yeah, whatever. Go in. We corrupt it for three. Coco Cat corrupts it for two. We heal for five. I don't want that there. Go away, that. Let's do it again. It's a pretty cute little cat noise for being a demon. It's like, with also like a blah, blah, blah underneath of it. Ow. Now the problem is I have no more ways to deal with curses. Besides paying the health for it. I mean, that's fine. It's just... We have healing we can deal with. I'm like, yeah, we could switch back if we need to. But I do like healing after battle. But I also like not having the... Hey, temptation! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a new temptation. Uh, whatever. It's like, do we want to use it on this one or use it on the... It doesn't matter. They're both one-use things. They don't cycle. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of damage. Yeah. Nine damage in two rounds. The skill. It's not really skill. I mean, yeah, skill to set it all up, but at this point, it's less skill and more of me just hitting things really hard and then being done with them. Eh. Eh. No bother. No bother. Uh, you know that. Uh oh. That's coming in. We're not going to be able to afford anything, except we have plenty of money. It's fine. Oh, wow. Okay. It really wants to do that. Uh, we'll buy that. And now let's just try and brute force this. Now we will life steal, hit for a lot. Ah, sweet relief. The sweet relief of the holy demon. Got him. Uh, yeah, sure. I I don't want to math this out. Like I was like, could I beat this with just the two health? Yeah, but I was full heal anyway. Spite. Of course, for celebration. Uh, sure. Celestial Maul, super big. Thor hammer. <laughs> Base attack is increased by plus one, minus one while you have a weapon equipped. Well, I just got a hammer. But since we're not using weapons otherwise, because that's the only weapon really in our deck. Let's just sell it. Now we have another plus one damage. And another temptation. Eh. Mm. Do you like atomic bulwark? When you parry, poison your enemy for three. Seven defense is nice, but four gold. Uh, come on, give me a bow or something. A prudent purchase. All right. 
a box, and another temptation. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna regret this. But here we go. Say, so how do I keep this video from being over an hour? I put like nine curses on my deck. Let's do it. Actually, I'm not even gonna be able to afford the damn thing now that I think about it. Oh well. I forgot that it costs like four gold a piece, so. But yeah, we are doing three base from Martial Artist already, so we are... Yeah. Crush them! Crush them! Sure. Crushing them, I shall do. Yeah. Still just crushing them. We're crushing it. Yeah. All right, we heal, buy temptation, get some more money. I think we're gonna need this. Actually, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. We're gonna buy this first. Now, when this depletes, we'll turn into chosen and full heal. Hit it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna, you know, use this now. We're not gonna deplete it yet. We don't need the help, but we can start using it so that we do this. Now, now we're we're switching to queen so that we can start healing. Oh, that'll get me killed. Never mind. Boo. Well, okay, that's a... Oh, wait, I think I... Well, I can sell stuff. To your help. That's not how this was supposed to go. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah, I get it. Let me attack someone else. Strategize. Ow. Take that. Full heal. Yeah, the problem is they hit for 10 over two turns, so I have to... And then I could, like... Perry on the third one. Hmm. I either need, like, my smite to do more damage and heal, or I need some sort of piercing. Interesting, interesting. Well, I said this might not be the best build anymore, but I am having fun, and that's what counts. Uh, you... Whatever. Cat now. Hit it. That'll leave a mark. That will leave a mark. But it's fine. Cause now I can block, parry, blah blah blah. You're dead. The wisdom. Hit it. No. Now, here is where my thing is going to come into play. All right, start, you know, fighting some people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yep, now we're doing five and six per turn, thanks to Judicator. Like, ah, I don't want that. Ow. I don't want that. Ow. I don't want that. Ow. Like, oh no, I have such little health. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't have to do this, but I want a full heal, so. It, oh. I killed her. That's not how that was supposed to work. Well, all right. To your help. Uh. More temptation. All right. So now what we're going to do. Put this up. Hit for six. He hits us. We took damage, but then whoop, we're back to normal. And nah, like I could do that to heal, but it's fine. Yeah, I can just one shot her first turn now. Because Rose gets crazy amounts of damage using Temptation. Oh, what's that? Temptation? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. I have a base seven. 
attack. Over two turns, I do 15 damage. Oh, this is ridiculous. You're dead. Womp. Um, I don't actually care about any of these, so... Let's do that to cycle it. Sure, that's free, that's free. Like, oh no, I'm gonna do two less damage fighting this guy. Like, oh no, what'll I do? I still do so much damage. That's Rose. You know, I, I could keep playing. Play out the rest of this. Like, ah, oh, yeah, what do we have now? Devotion, shuffle three blessings in the deck. Ooh, yeah, sure, great. Overwhelm the scaredy cat when you flee. When you quite have ability, get a health. Yeah, sure, great. Yeah, shuffle three copies of Renounce in the deck. Get more gems out of stuff. I could keep playing for what is it? Another one, two, three, four. But what more do you need to see? You, I think you get Rose now at this point. You see what she's about. You see what she can do. Like, if you like thinking and planning your turns out and being like, okay, I'm going to do this much corruption. It'll heal me this much. It'll corrupt this. Okay, but I can get this, turn this into that. If you, if you like doing that type of stuff, you can see just how crazy powerful she is. If you want a little more laid back thing, you're just like, yeah, I'm listening to this podcast. I don't want to have to think as much. Yeah, you might not want to use Rose. Switch to someone else, you know. Switch to Greybeard or something where it's just like, get spells, nuke people, the end. They're all fun to play as. You've seen them all, but I don't think I really need to show you more about Rose. Like, yeah, she has some other things like Repent I never showed, which is like if you trigger it, it will turn a curse into a blessing if it's on the board. There's other things like Overheal, which is if you're at full health and you heal, it'll trigger an effect, but... Those are self-explanatory. You don't need to see me do them. So yeah. How about I just call it right here? Ah, who am I kidding? I can't stop yet. We can skip all that middle fluff, but let's take a crack at the Uber Lich with Rose, shall we? Okay, right off the bat. Don't exactly like this setup, but it'll work. Need more damage. Okay, healing. Shuffle three. Well, let's get that in the deck now. Yeah, take a beating from this, but it'll help get Judicator up. So. Uh, now we can change and start healing, but we have no way to get rid of our curses. So. We got like the holy grenade, doing piercing damage, restore for everyone hit. Ugh. No, actually, I think I sell that because we we just put some in the deck, so that's fine. Increase our damage. Here we go. Now we just need one gold. How much are we doing base for? Yeah, this looks fine. We can take these out in one. Oh yeah, I forgot I had chill. I picked that up a bit ago. That'll help. Yeah. So then we get this. Ugh. Uh, I want the... What? Yeah, camp. Oh, because of the... Because the evil Coco Cats, right. Jerk. Um... So we sell that, which is too bad, but... We need to heal. There we go. That'll help. Now we can do some damage. Uh. Okay, you did. No, don't. Uh, why'd it have to be that one? Cause I'm healing less each because like I want to build up as many curses as oh. Hmm. Hit it. 
Uh, so let's see, I hit for five. It goes down to with one shield, then the next turn it would have zero shields, hit me for six. I mean, then that could holy strike, I guess. I think that's what I have to do. Hit it. Or we just do this guy. Holy strike now, so we don't die. Get him out of the way. All right. Now we will call in our Coco Cat. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Eh. That's fine. Get more damage going. Get rid of that. Hit it. Hey, buddy, I've got someone to deal with you now. Ah. Uh, I need to get rid of those. I need my healing right now. Eat all of this. I need this to hit to do healing. More damage. Get rid of the curses, so... How do I do this? Hit him for that. Okay, he takes this hit. There we go. All right, that works. That works. That doesn't work. Screw you. Lucky day. Um, get rid of that. Yeah, sure. We need healing, so. Eh. No, I said we need healing. Hey, all right. Lots of stuff. Okay, how do we want to do this? You first, I think. Yeah, broken. That's fine. Oh, not yet. There we go. Oh, I should. Whatever. It is still fine. Am I prepared to face the- No, not actually at all. Not yet. Okay, that. But not until we get this, because then it will hit everyone and heal us. How much damage are we doing right now? Six, then seven. Okay. This will work. This will work. This will work. This will work. We put this up now. We hit him. He hits us, poisons us, we heal up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow. It's not pretty, but it works. Ooh, that'll help with this. Um, as life steal when attacking enemies with full health. Uh, what's this one? Mutate into Queen, piercing with six corruption. Eh, let's life steal when the enemy has full health. Let's get rid of this. Because we can. Okay, if we get. Shuffle and blessings. Get money. Increase our damage. Nuke those two. So, you know, four damage each, whatever. We heal some. That's cool. Get rid of that. I could. Whatever. This is fine. Need more coins. Oh, I'm nothing. Wow. Hit it. Um, you know, sell that. Hmm. Sell that. that. Kill him. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of a bat. Do more damage, blessing, but. When there's at least one blessing on the board, your attack gains three life steal. Okay. Well, if any of those blessings I send up there ever come back, that'll be handy. Uh, you have full health, so give me life steal. Or give me your life. With... That's fine. You know what I mean. Kill him. Uh, let's sell that. I don't, like, that turns your cards into curses. I don't really want to deal with that now. Uh, abilities? I don't have any right now, so that's fine. Just heal up a bit. Take that. 
Now, I do want to get rid of that because we want. There we go. Wishing lamp. Oh, good. I was like, oh, wait, that one might get the stuff instead. So let's use this up. Um, all right. Time to take you out. There we go. Now we have free space in our inventory, so we turn that in. Yeah, sure, money. Fix that. Turn that. Ooh, when you acquire this corrupt all visible, well, I don't think it's... Oh, it did work. Cool. Yeah, I'll take a six defense, sure. Uh, hitting for more D. Like, yeah, it'd be nice for the Uber Lich, but let's take this guy out, because he'll give us more items. We can see what we get. Uh, yeah, now. Parry and Frozen. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess that I don't really need either one of those. I think we're enough to do some hit and run on the Sweet Uber Woods. Okay, well, when there's at least one blessing, gain life steal. So, oh, but we're gonna take doom tokens. So we, mm. whatever. We we'll just give up the Dawn Guard, or actually the Hellphone. How many enemies are left? Three enemies. Yeah, we'll get rid of the health when he gives us doom. Okay. Block that. Then get rid of that. Put on that. We'll life steal back up. Block him again. There we go. Uh, let's life steal again while we're at it. Now, how do I want to do this? We're gonna get two Doom tokens, so that's okay, I think. We just minimize our damage. Ditch it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Minimize the damage. We can ditch it. We, you know, we broke it, so we got full heal. Yeah, all right, he's dead. Get out of here, you. Uh, none of that. None of that. <laughs> With all my bonuses and a double plus to attack. Uh. Sure. Sub shuffle things on the deck. That's great. Uh, you... And finally, last, but not least... Oh, I don't even need to use that, because... And he kills himself to end the game. With 14 extra tiles. There you go. There's Rose. She's bonkers. If you want to put the uh, the time and effort into playing a match with her, you can't argue with the results. All right, well, this isn't a stream, just a recording, so we'll skip to right to the thank you for everyone who watches this on YouTube, and special thanks today go to the uh, Demonic Coco Cat, because, you know, it's super annoying to fight against in the uh, Meteor Fall Journeys. It's super annoying to fight against here, and it does, you know, makes you take damage for getting tiles, but when he's on your team, he's so cute, and he's like, Purr. So special thanks to the Demon Cat. Bye. Now, it's not the only way, like, for instance, you've seen this, this fetching gold poop down here. <laughs>